Welcome to, to another great Cal Basic tutorial. Today I'm just going to do a quick review of how to program an LGT uh, 8F328P. Uh, let me just get straight into the editor and we'll have a look at what's going on. Okay, so I've got the editor on the screen here and I've got the camera pointing at an, an LGT down here. I've actually got another LGT here that we'll look at in a moment. But let's just program it and see what happens. So the programming experience, if it's working correctly, you just can select the hex green, hex that's green and flash, and press that um, button, and um, it should fire up, and a, a, a dialog will pop up and program it. And that's the goal that we're looking for, and you can see that the LED is flashing. So how do we ensure that that is correct? Uh, because it's working on that one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly unplug that, throw that away, and put another one in. And this one won't work because the um, communication port is not set up correctly. So let's do that slowly. So I'm going to select this drop down here, and I'm going to go into the Editor Program of Preferences. And um, here it is. And what you need to do is ensure that the LGT um, FX8P is at the top. Um, this list is sequentially ordered, so you need to, you need to have it at the top for um, ease of use. There are programming parameters you can set. Let's just keep it really simple. I'm going to edit this. Now these parameters on the common settings, leave them alone. We're just looking at the communications port because this device, this green one I've just plugged in, is not on COM24. Okay, if it is on COM24, I'd be genuinely surprised. Okay, well. It actually is on COM24, so because I can look inside of uh, my my device manager, if I unplug it, I can see that this is on COM24. So there's a very quick way. If I go into um, if I go into uh, communications manager, I uh, device manager, I can see the COM. I've selected the port here, and that's a very quick way of determining it because this is the list you've been shown here. So if I select COM24 press OK, and that's at the top of the list, and I press OK, I should be able to get this chip to program. It flashed, and now it's pulsing. So these, the, the recap here is you've got to set up this order. This order's got to be correct. The, you need to ensure that this is at the top. And secondly, you need to ensure that the communication port is selected that matches your, your configuration. So. I wanted to have a quick um, gander through how to make sure that programs. Um, I hope that clarifies uh, what we're looking at in terms of programming these chips.